natural disasters, climate change, overcrowding, big problems demand even bigger solutions. It's a new era for engineering. We can build our way out of anything. To save Shanghai from overcrowding, the world's first vertical city. This is Mega Engineering. It's a decades-old dream. A city that doesn't sprawl, but reaches for the sky. Many in Shanghai might question the environmental impact of such a megastructure. Luckily, there's a way to make Extopia both the world's tallest building and the greenest. Collecting rain for drinking water and harnessing wind and sunlight for power. To realize this remarkable promise, engineers would have to improve on traditional building materials like steel, concrete, and most important, glass. Glass is much more than the mere skin of a skyscraper. It's critical technology for controlling the flow of energy in and out of a structure. Efficient glass can waste as much as a third of a building's energy. Here on Long Island in New York, at a lab called Research Frontiers, engineers are perfecting the glass of tomorrow. It's called electronic glass, or e-glass. A perfectly transparent material that adapts to changes in light and heat by altering its transparency to regulate energy flow. Typically during summer months, sweltering sunlight blasts through a window necessitating air conditioning to keep the interior of a building cool. In the winter, the opposite is true, as skyscrapers bleed heat. But if glass could be made to adapt to changing weather conditions more efficiently, buildings could save millions and be more comfortable. Steve Abadi is the head researcher at the company. In the natural state, it's frosted, giving you privacy, allowing the light to come through but obscuring the view. When you apply an electrical field to these particles that are in the glass, the molecules line up and that allows light to pass through and vision to pass through. Over here you see it in the frosted state, which is the natural state, and when you apply electricity, it switches to clear. The secret is a micro-thin sheet of film sandwiched inside the glass. When electrified, Particles suspended in the film realign, allowing the passage of light waves. And the glass shifts from opaque to transparent. In its darkened form, the glass limits the amount of sunlight and heat passing into the building and blocks dangerous UV rays, while providing privacy without curtains or blinds. It also uses only a trickle of electricity to control its opacity. So sheathing extopia and electronic glass would save billions in heating and cooling costs. Extopia could adapt instantly to changing light conditions, regulating the climate inside. And the e-glass could further add to energy savings by reducing dependence on electric lights, thanks to a process called daylight harvesting. Daylight harvesting is when you use daylighting instead of interior lighting. So instead of spending energy with interior lighting, we can use the glass to basically bring illumination into a room without using energy. With e-glass regulating the temperature inside, the amount of energy required to heat and air condition the building would drop by as much as one half. In fact, smart glass has such a startling impact on the bottom line it's already being installed in some of the world's tallest buildings. Like the Willis Tower, formerly the Sears Tower, 
into cargo. This crew is manufacturing a shipment of 22 window panes for an office space in the Willis Tower. Manufacturing the glass is precision work, which requires cutting and assembling two panes of glass with the active electronic layer sandwiched between them. Even the slightest mistake can ruin a sheet worth tens of thousands of dollars. A bridge crane carries the one-ton sheet to the cutting table, where it's cut according to precise programmed measurements. Next, the edges of the glass are sanded and the whole sheet is washed. It's then transported to a special clean room where inspectors scrutinize it for flaws. Only when they have given their stamp of approval do technicians lay the smart film between the two glass sheets and fuse all three components into a single piece. Once in Chicago, the e-glass panes are finally installed. In Shanghai, covering the exterior of Extopia using six foot by nine foot sheets would take more than 600,000 panels. The result would be a city scraper whose exterior shifts chameleon-like with changing light and weather. Adding visual interest to Shanghai's already spectacular skyline. If you're observing the building from afar, the windows will start to selectively change and darken to respond immediately as soon as the light hits them. But if Extopia looks alive on the outside, what's even more surprising is what's growing on the inside. If realized, Extopia would be a glimmering icon in Shanghai's growing skyline. An alternative path to address the problems of sprawl, overpopulation, and unsustainable growth. It would certainly forever alter the human experience of the city. I think the skyline in the future will change. They'll be dynamic, they'll be exciting. They have to lift the spirit, and they have to be places where you can immediately understand Yes, I want to be there. I want to be part of that community. For Shanghai, Extopia would be a radical leap forward and an engineering triumph to rise over all others.